Is it eight o'clock? It's 7.59. I'm one minute early. Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome. I am Fireball, and this is Art Talk at 8. Uh, it is episode 6 that we're doing. Uh, if you are new to this show, new to uh, hanging out with me here on Facebook Live, uh, these episodes, uh, good morning, Kitty. Oh, Kitty, I gotta, I'm going to text you or I'm going to email you soon. Uh, Jan uh, or Jan, forgive me, Brad, Wes, boy, everybody's on board this morning. Welcome to our talk. Uh, this is episode six. I'm having a blast doing this with you guys. Uh, this is quite extraordinary. Uh, it's a way for us to wake up together, have some coffee, uh, and, uh, you know, kind of shoot the shit a little bit, uh, discuss some things that, that we can do for the day to um, uh, explore our best creative self. Uh, uh, Kitty, uh, Kathleen Montgomery, my cousin, says, hi, Timmy. Brad says, morning, Tim. Uh, Roberto says, hi, Tim, from Italy. Uh, wow, uh, I'm amazed. I'm, uh, I'm in shock that you guys are on board right away. Uh, good morning, Lawrence. Um, what else we got? We got a lot of cool stuff that's going on uh, that I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, today, some really good stuff. I need to write down one other thing here. Um, just so many things uh, that I'm excited about today. And uh, and that's a choice. That's a choice. I'm, I'm choosing to be excited because I get to hang out with my friends, with you guys, and talk about what's good for us on a daily basis uh, during the week. So today, uh, we talked a lot about yesterday. Um, uh, Roberto says, I follow you every time, man. I appreciate that, Roberto. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of you guys. I'm a fan of you guys. Uh, one recap, yesterday's episode, um, my friend Dennis Burnham, his truck was stolen. Uh, uh, not last night, but the night before. Uh, he had Lojack on it, and he got the truck back. So a uh, big clap. Big clap to the Torrance PD for getting his truck back. Uh, he's very happy about that. Uh, was a little bit of damage, but thanks to you guys uh, for reposting and sharing and um, and we did the same. Uh, he got his truck back, not to necessarily to credit to us, but uh, I think that when you think about this stuff and you put that stuff out there, the stuff is going to be found. Good things are going to happen as a result. That's what happens. Good morning, John. Who else we got joining us today? James uh, Dilliot. Uh, very, very cool. Very excited for today. Episode six of Art Talk. Uh, who knows? This could be a huge thing. It could be enormous. I, I just don't know. There's Dennis. Uh, Dennis, congratulations for getting your truck back. I think everyone is on board when they say, uh, good on you, buddy, as they say in Australia. Uh, uh, great job. I'm glad you got the truck back. No one likes to have their stuff stolen. It's, that's not fun. And, um, you know, it's karma. You know, the guys that took your truck, you know, things are going to happen. Okay, so let's let's talk today. Today's episode... I want to focus on one word. That word is acceptance. And um, acceptance is a tough thing because we, we all go through challenging things in our lives. And uh, resistance, as they say, resistance is futile. Uh, it, resistance is about um, contraction and acceptance is about expansion. Oh, it's raining. It's raining like crazy. I love doing this when it's raining. It's really nice out. It was dumping this morning when we were waking up. Uh, so acceptance. Um, the thing about acceptance is that we all go through things that are a, a challenge you know, for us. Um, uh, Kitty says, Kit Kat Von Bitch Colin. <laughs> oh man, that's my cousin for you. Uh, Kitty, uh, you're, you're amazing. You are uh, a true champion. Uh, Kitty had just had a big shift in her her income and her job, and uh, those mothers can go take a bath you know where, because um, you're going to land not only on your feet, but you're going to be killing it. You're going to be killing it sometime soon. I can feel it. I can feel it. Uh, and that's that's good. This is what we're talking about. Um, the sooner that you can accept things the way they are and acknowledge it and let it go and move forward and get busy, uh, the faster you will you will attract goodness into your world. Now, uh, the way in which we look at something actually determines its outcome. Now, I'm reading this because I wrote this this morning, and I, I want to be reminded that that how do I say this in a, in a in a concise way? You know that normally we react to things, and our reaction 
uh, comes from uh, basically what we're seeing with our eyes. And the problem with that is that we don't realize that the emotions and the uh, thoughts that we have when we're reacting to things, that's what we're sending out into the world. And we have to be very careful because you, if you, if you acknowledge and you, you come to the realization that what you put out into the world comes back to you, then you're putting shit out there and you're getting shit back. And you don't want that. You want to be strategic. You want to, it's, it's like when you build a business, you're very strategic. If, if I send good things out, if I send good calls out, you know, if I call up a client and I say, Hey, you know, I'll buy this bitch, you know, I mean, you're not going to get back what it is that you want. So you have to be very strategic about how you do those things, how you treat people on the phone, how you, how you talk with people, uh, keep things positive. Uh, and, uh, but that's not just the, our words that we use and the things that we do, our actions, but our thoughts. And when you're going through something challenging, you may be going through, and, and you guys can ask me questions. You guys, we're live, so you can ask me questions. Um, uh, there's uh, a, an opportunity for you to to express maybe a challenge that you're going through and for us to address it and uh, to kind of help you as a group uh, how you can get through something. Happy Motoring says, Joe, good morning. Reinhardt, good morning. Uh, so we're talking about acceptance. This is episode six of Art Talk with Fireball. That's uh, that's me. You know, it's, that, I'm the only guy you're seeing, although there's pictures around, but I'm the, I'm the dude right here. Uh, it says, get shit done backwards. Uh, and I'm going to use a bad word from time to time. I'm just saying. And if you have an issue with that, there's lots of other talks that you can you can watch. And uh, but I'm going to use words that just kind of come up. Uh, Ronald, uh, good morning, Ronald. Uh, so acceptance. Uh, the sooner that you can accept things the way they are, the sooner you get control of your emotions. And that's important because our emotions go into a loop when things happen to us. Uh, we get angry, we get frustrated, we get pissed off, we get all kinds of things because we don't understand, we can't see the bigger picture. It's kind of the difference of that you're standing in the middle of a city on a street corner and you can't see what's around the corner, but when you go into the top of the building, you can look down and you got a better perspective. You can see the way things are laid out and you suddenly realize, oh, the Starbucks is just like right over there. So, you know, it's, it's about shifting your perspective, a, a conscious way of shifting your perspective. And, and we have the ability to do that. We have the ability to control that. Uh, Charles uh, De La Vega Raymond, uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, very cool. Very excited to talk to you guys today. We're talking about acceptance and how to accept challenging things in your life to make your life better as a creative person. And the truth is that we are all creative. Uh, anybody who says they're not creative, well, because you say so. We are all creative. We are creative beings. This is what we are here to do on Earth. We're here basically to find what we love, discover what we love, and to figure out a way to share it with the world. That is what we are doing with our coloring books. Uh, a little bit of my background, I've been a car designer uh, since I probably came out of the womb. I don't know how that happened, but early on I was in high school drawing cars, went to school to become a car designer, went into the film industry and Walt Disney Imagineering as a designer. Uh, Worked on 400 movies, uh, did lots of cool stuff, and where my wife and I are right now is we have a coloring book company, and we have our vlog, which I'll mention to you in a minute. And the coloring book company focuses on cars and beach life. Kathy's passion is beach life, surfing, and all things having to do with the ocean, sharks, whales, dolphin, all that stuff. And mine, obviously, is cars, which you guys know, which I'm assuming that's probably why you're hanging out with me today. You like cars, too. Uh, and you also like making your life better, and that's uh, that's what it's about, personal development, okay? And uh, it's an interesting notion that in order to get to success, you actually have to become success-minded. You have to think in a way that is going to attract you. It's going to drag you to success. It's gonna it's gonna push you towards success. Uh, and whining and complaining. It's not something that successful people do. That's not something that um, is conducive to success, is bitching about your problems or talking about how bad things are. It's important that you, um, that you lay down the groundwork. It's kind of like if you have your own little group of minions. Right, Kitty? You got your own little group of minions and you got to send them out during the day. And what I found really works for me is that I wake up about four o'clock every morning and I spend a good half an hour, a combination of meditating affirmations and visualizing what it is I want the day to become. And that works very well for me. And my day generally goes that way or better. 
So I want you guys to adopt that kind of thing. We could talk a little bit about, if you have some questions about meditation, uh, about um, affirmations, about some of these things, uh, very easily I can talk to you about that stuff. Meditation is not this airy-fairy, uh, Hindu-ish, um, uh, weird kind of thing. Uh, meditation is the Eastern word. The Western word is concentration. When you concentrate, and you focus on any given subject, you're putting all of your energy into that subject, and you are making use of everything from your conscious mind to your subconscious mind, and you begin to attract those things that you focus on most. So when you're whining and complaining, guess what happens, right? Makes sense, makes sense? You guys see that? Okay, not difficult to understand. This is actually something, a concept that a child can understand, but the challenge, the biggest challenge for us as human beings, as creative people, is to actually do it. And to not worry about the house or uh, uh, dwell on uh, that things are tough. You know, Kitty says meditation saved my life every day without fail. Hell yeah. Boing. Okay. That's how it works. Um, meditation. It's like, it's like let's, let's put it this way. You go to the gym for the first time. You know, you pay 300 bucks for your gym membership. You go to the gym and you work out for the first time. Maybe you get a, a, like a, a, a workout with a trainer. And then by the end of the day, you're freaking exhausted. You know, the next day you're sore and you're like, oh my God, why did I do this? Because I'm like, like wasted now. It's like, why did I join into the gym? Um, and you can complain and you can whine about that. And lots of people will like quit the gym because it's too hard or whatever it is. But guess what happens, right? You go back to the gym the next day and you're a little bit less sore. You know, it's not such a bad experience. You start to see really attractive people. That's a plus. Uh, you start having a, a good time. You start over time. You start to make it a habit. Eventually, your body changes. Things get better. You get stronger. You get faster. You become a $6 million person, right? Okay, that's how it works. But your mind, mind, this thing right up here. Well, this is your brain. Your mind, mind is everywhere. This is your brain. Your brain connects to the mind, okay? And what ends up happening is the more that you use your connection of your brain with your mind, guess what happens? You start to get better. You start to get stronger. You start to get faster. Six million dollar mind. Booyah! That's how it works. Okay. Acceptance is a big part of that. Resistance is futile. You know, uh, there's a reason that they used that in Star Trek. It was Star Trek, right? It wasn't like Star Wars. I think it was a Star Trek. Official Star Trek reference. Uh, resistance is futile. Uh, what does that mean? It means there's no point. There's no point. Don't even try to resist, right? Uh, but resistance to a problem, to something that you're facing, let's say that uh, your child is getting bad grades or uh, you just got fired. Somebody got fired or let go. Let go, that fired is a hard word. You got let go. You got let go and um, uh, you're having a hard time with it. You know, you're calling those guys a-holes. There's a lots of things that, that you're angry about because you may have given them, you know, a better part of your life and uh, dedicated and they just weren't grateful. They weren't grateful. But if you accept and you go like, huh, hmm, I was supposed to learn something in this experience and I'm going to take that experience and I'm going to apply it to the next evolution of my life. A good movie to watch is G.I. Jane. Watch it because it's, it's got a lot of good stuff in it. And it, it shows that you can overcome any adversity. And that comes down to your mindset, your, your belief. So there's two things. There's two things that you need to be successful in anything. doesn't matter what it is. Any success, uh, any relationships, financially, whatever it is. There's two things. Uh, number one is that you need an unwavering faith. You have to have a very strong faith to be able to get to where you're going. You need to know where you're gonna go, but you really gotta believe that you're gonna get there because you know that the two reasons that people don't succeed is that number one, they don't know where they're going, or they don't know what, sorry, they don't know what they want, and number two, maybe they do know what they want, but they really don't believe that they're gonna get there, and that's where faith comes in, like right there. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, never mind, take that away. Unwavering faith. Unwavering faith is power. Unwavering faith is focus. It's focused energy, and that's what you're doing when you're concentrating. And that's basically all meditation is. Meditation is you're going to sit down, you're going to close your eyes, you're going to visualize what it is that you want, you're going to use an affirmation. You know, it's not like you, if you keep repeating the same thing over again, it suddenly manifests. The whole point of an affirmation is to keep your mind focused in a direction that you want it to go. Instead of dwelling on your problems, something that your stepmother said, something that your brother did, some, something, you know, you stubbed your toe, uh, you got uh, uh, roaches in your house, whatever it is, whatever it is, is that you, your, your, your life will go in the direction that you take it. 
okay? Just say, I've been fired from better companies than yours. Yeah, that's what Kitty's saying. So Kitty just just recently went through a, a layoff, if I'm correct, uh, a layoff, and uh, she's a champion. She's a champion. Uh, I would use some really, really bad words right here because uh, we, we have history. We go back to uh, as a childhood. And um, this is the way we roll. This is the way we roll. Is nobody can touch us. Nobody can uh, bring us down because it's all right here, man. It's all right here, and it's all right here. It's the way that you look at the world. So you've got to look at the world in a way that's conducive to creating success for yourself. Now, number one was unwavering faith. What do you think number two is? What do you think number two is? Uh, that's not me. Go oh, yeah. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, Kitty, uh, you're in, You're going to be in big trouble when I call you later. Okay, unwavering faith is number number one, but what do you think number two is? Anybody? Uh, keep a host. What do you think that you need? Just two things. Very simple. Very simple. Unwavering faith, right? But what they say in the Bible is, when you pray, move your feet. And what do they mean by move your feet? Start dancing? Pitter-patter? A little tap dancing? You know, uh, that, that's not bad. That's not bad if you want to become a dancer. But what you need is extraordinary action, unbelievable, sustainable action, massive action, as Tony Robbins talks about. Uh, every great successful person, um, Kitty says, Timmy is confused. What, you're just figuring that out now? Okay. Uh, extraordinary action, extraordinary action. Now, um, if you have not achieved the success in your life at this point, or if you're not sure about the direction you want to go, maybe you retired and maybe you got a shift that's going on in your life and uh, you're not sure where to go, uh, you kind of don't know what to do, right? But uh, I'm not saying you have to take action in a direction when you don't know where you're going. But what's important is to ask yourself and not make the statement, I don't know what to do, because that's a statement. There's nothing that you can do after that if you make that statement, you have to say, what can I do today? What can, how can I grow today? Where can I go today? What action can I take today? And you ask yourself that question and you get to move forward. And, and that's important. So you don't have to know where you're going in order to take action. You don't have to know where you're going. But through that process of letting go, letting go of the dilemma that just happened and accept the things in the way that they are and Use unwavering faith and faith to say, I will land on my feet. I know where I'm going to go. I, I know that it's going to have to do something with what I love because working for big corporate companies, that's not, that's not peace of mind and that's not uh, happiness is giving yourself away as an employee. That's not the way to go. The way to go is to figure out what it is that you love and find a way to package it for the rest of the world. And that could be through talks, through a podcast, through a blog, uh, through creating kind of some kind of product, something that you love to do. And you have to identify that. You got to sit down, you got to meditate and ask yourself the question, what do I love to do? Right? What do I love to do on the weekends? You know, what, what, uh, that, what, what gets me out of bed in the morning? What, what uh, am I impassioned? You know, do I love coffee? Do I love tea? Do I love uh, orange juice? Do I love creating, um, uh, weird uh, paintings, whatever it is. Uh, Kathleen says, spot on. It's so hard to let go, but you are 100% right. It's all in the attitude. I'm in the process, says Kitty. Process now. Of course, you're in the mix, Kitty. You're in the mix at the moment. And that's what's exciting about that, for you to be on our talk and be right in the thick of it, is that if you can do it now in this moment, you can do it anytime, anytime. This is the hardest time for people to raise themselves up and say, forget those mothers, I'm gonna move forward and I'm gonna move forward with 10 times the amount of action that I had before. I'm gonna get all my love and all my energy to something that I truly love. And that's exciting. You're in a very, very exciting place. I'm excited for you. I know the rest of the people watching on our talk right now, uh, we're excited for Kitty. So everybody give her a thumbs up, give her some love because uh, she's got some super cool stuff ahead and I don't even know what it is. I don't even know, but I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm super excited about it. Okay, I need to put my glasses on because I've been trying to read stuff that's down here and I, I have no idea. I have no idea what I wrote. Okay, um, we talked about the way in which we look at something actually determines its outcome. Uh, you gotta get these pe this idea, people, because 
when you become aware and you, you, you wake up to this ideal, you realize that most people are walking around asleep. You know, uh, they are, and, this, and the Bible talks about this. The Bible to me is a book of science, a lot of great uh, tips, you know, it's, uh, but it's very valuable in the same way that a Tony Robbins book and people that are successful are writing uh, cool stuff. But the way in which you look at something determines its outcome. So if you see something as a problem, it, then it perpetuates, it continues to be a problem, right? When you see something as uh, a challenge, then it, it's a challenge, it becomes a challenge. If you see something that's like, you know what, I'm, I'm in this for a reason, I accept this. I accept the way things are, this is okay. I'm, I'm, I'm actually welcoming this. I mean, think if we took it a step even further, it's like, this is badass. This is the coolest thing that has ever happened to me. In fact, I know people that have been in car accidents and uh, in a coma and uh, come out of it and say to me, this is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine going through something like that and saying, this is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me? Uh, and as a result of that, their lives have become extraordinary. So I want you guys to get out there today and do some massive action. I want you to really think about what it is that's gonna, that's gonna get you excited about life. This is your life. This is, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to go today and, and waste it, complaining about stuff, thinking about uh, people that are giving you problems. Why, why give them your time and your power? Let those guys go. Let them go. Drop them like a hot rock, right? You know, I don't know what the, the thing is about, about a hot rock is that, that you, you can, you, know, you want to you pick up a hot rock to throw it at somebody, but then your fear keeps you from throwing it because you're afraid what they're going to say, what they're going to do, and then you end up burning your hand. Is that the right analogy? I don't know, but it sounds good. Sounds good to me. That works for me. Uh, what else we got? Um, let's take a step back for a second. Um, once again, you guys can ask questions. Uh, Ivan says, uh, now go do that voodoo that you do. Babooma. That's right. Um, Voodoo magic, right? It's magic. Uh, how do you create miracles? One brick at a time. One brick at a time. Uh, miracles happen every single day, uh, all day long. All you got to do is expect them. Okay. Uh, I want to do a quick shout out to my friend Ken Vella, who I work with. You guys have seen MC Ken Vella on the vlog. Uh, he has just finished a build at Wicked Customs. Uh, it is a, a checker wagon a checker wagon that belongs to the Murphy Museum. It's spot on, badass. It's gonna get a whole new motor. It's being delivered to the Murphy on Saturday on the weekend. So if you have not been to the Murphy Museum, you'll get to see that car there. Uh, it's It came out beautiful, it came out stunning. Uh, miracles happen every day, says Rick White. Of course they do. Rick, you're a miracle. Right, you know that, you know that? You're a miracle. We're all miracles. Do uh, you know, realize what the chances are of being born into this life are? Uh, pretty extraordinary. And uh, we all get that. You know, welcome to the party. You know, this is the party. Uh, shout out to Ken. I did that. Uh, heads up, I just finished an article for Hidden Hills Magazine uh, writing about vintage trucks. Uh, check that out. That's going to be coming out within a month or so. Uh, just got a phone call from LA Parent. Might be doing something with them. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Um, uh, Okay, I said you guys can ask me questions, but I'm going to ask you something. Uh, Kitty says, got to run to church, Ash Wednesday. Love you, cuz. Love you too, Kitty. We'll see you soon. I'll be calling you later. Uh, okay, um, I want to ask you guys something. If you, are in, if you are enjoying this, if you're getting something out of our talk, if there's something valuable here that you're getting, we want this to grow because we want to affect as many people as we can throughout the day and uh, throughout the whole process. So share this. Uh, this will go up on YouTube once it's done uh, today. And then you can share that or you can share it on Facebook. And, uh, and that really helps us because we want to be able to put uh, good stuff into the world. Uh, good morning, Robert. Thanks for joining us. So uh, share. You know, why not? Couldn't hurt. Hit the like button. You know, let people know that uh, this is a fun place to hang out. Um, this is where we get shit done. Right there. Backwards. You know, you don't want to do things forward. That's no fun. Got to do it backwards. Um, this is episode six of Our Talk. I'm Fireball. I'm your host. If you're new to this show here on Facebook Live, this is where we help you to expand your creative self, to explore your creative power, to identify what it is that you love and to get you to do that. Get off your ass and go do something today instead of sitting there wondering what happened to my life. Why are things not working out? We're talking about acceptance today. Accept the things the way things are and then let it go and then get busy. Get busy. 
doing stuff. Figure it out what it is that you love. Uh, use meditation. Use affirmations uh, in the mornings. Um, uh, create some miracles. Do some good things. Okay. Is there anything that I missed here? Um, I think that's kind of it. That's kind of it for today. I want you guys... Thank you, Liz. I appreciate you sharing. Uh, uh, we want to uh, spread the word that you can. You can achieve the life of your dreams. You have to know what that is, though. You have to identify what is the life of your dreams, and then you have to act that way. If you want to be um, uh, a successful singer, you got to sing. You got to sing, right? You want to be a successful screenwriter, you got to write stuff. You got to write good stuff and you got to get it out there. You got to share it with people. You got to, uh, you got to move. You got to move on, uh, on, on your dreams. Okay. Uh, um, wheels and waves. Uh, my car show here in Malibu is happening on the 17th St. Patrick's day. Ooh, what you mean talking about? It's a terrible accent. Sorry, but, uh, St. Patrick's day, if you got nothing to do and you got something green to wear, come to the car show in Malibu, come to the car show. It's seven to nine in the morning. It's at the Malibu country mart. It's free coffee, free hot wheels. That's, that's how we roll. And we got music. We got MC Ken Vela. We got amazing cars. We generally get 100, 150 cars, and we get spectacular stuff, uh, celebrities, things like that. And also, uh, this event is happening on April 4th. This is JDRF's Track Day event. I know it's backwards, but you can read it later. Uh, JDRF has invited me to come down and drive exotic cars. Uh, we're going to be doing a vlog on that. That's going to be super cool. Um, uh, okay, great. We'll see you at, uh, Wheels and Waves, says Rick. Uh, Ivan says, have a cool day. Spectacular, guys. Uh, come and check this out. Check on their website. It's jdrftrackday.com. I'm going to be grabbing Tony Dow, uh, from Leave it to Beaver, and we're going to be going and driving exotic cars. We're going to take all you guys with us. Um, I think that's it. Is that it? I think that's it. All right, have a spectacular day, guys. I expect big things from you. I want to hear about it. I expect big things from you. Uh, share this if you like it and uh, enjoy the day. Uh, keep things safe. Keep things positive always. Love you guys. We'll talk to you soon.